Hey everyone, I hope we are all doing amazing. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my affirmations that I repeat every single morning in order to have the best day ever, the best week ever, the best month ever, and the best year ever, and the best life ever. I will tell you now, ever since I implemented these affirmations, affirmations, I definitely saw a difference in my quality of life and absolutely every single thing that I did repeat did come into fruition and it was just something that I subconsciously remembered throughout the day and I feel like to me it was very powerful. Specifically one is time and energy, I have more than enough time, I have more than enough energy and I felt like I had that kind of a ringing in the back of my head all day long and since I repeated every single day I feel like I do have more than enough time and I do have more than enough energy to do a lot of things. Now I shared these specific affirmations on one Law of Attraction Facebook page and people went absolutely crazy for it. People were like, oh my god, thank you so much. This was amazing. This helped me so much. Now I have to mention, some of these affirmations are going to be taken from Lior Alexander. This is her video up top. She is the one who helped me on this you know, journey. But ever since then, you know, I've been reading Law of Attraction books and, you know, spirituality books. One of my favorites being The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle. I highly, 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 highly recommend you guys read this if you haven't already, but it provides some affirmations and prayers and stuff like that as well. Affirmations are basically how I like to think of it, and I've never, you know, heard anyone say this before, but it's like the opposite of limiting beliefs. You are saying what it is that you, deep down, what your higher self wants for you, but you never access it because you have these limiting beliefs. First one, and this is for my creatives out there, the right people that want and need my content can easily find my videos. The universe has my back. Now this is an umbrella term that I absolutely adore. I feel like I'm being supported throughout my day. And okay, I am grateful to be earning this many dollars a year. Now you may have a specific amount of money that you wanna be earning. It's very important to actually have a number, in my opinion, just because so often we get distracted with different responsibilities and different goals. Thank you so much for my 50,000 YouTube subscribers. Now, the funny thing is, is that I used to say this for 15,000, like literally I would say 15,000. Thank you so much for my 15,000 YouTube subscribers. That's something that like I love when manifestations come to, you know, fruition. I have the perfect career. Now, a career is something that's very important for me, it's something that I work and strive towards every single day, and so just saying I have a perfect career spices me up a little bit, you know? I am open. Oh boy, this can be a complete different video. I was always closed off. I mean, if you did watch my How to Be a High Value Woman Part 2, I kind of briefly mentioned it that sometimes, or a lot of the time, I'm so inspired, but I get inspired by one thing and I get almost obsessed with it and I'm like oh my god yes like I need to move to New York and that's all I focus on and then like I literally have my head in the sand and I don't pay attention to anything else and you need balance and not only that you just need to be open to different opportunities so by saying I am open I am open I am open you are energetically saying to the universe these different people can come to me and I am open to receive whatever it is that they have to say imagine you have like a close-knit group of friends and they literally fulfill all of your wants needs and desires hopes whatever right so you're not looking and physically like yeah it's hard because like what else could you want you have the perfect group of friends right you know and some people it's easier for them to be like well no like I want to be friends with different people right so I'm open to any friendships but for other people like myself included if I feel like I'm emotionally satisfied with a group of friends I am so heavily focused on that I need to learn to be open to different types of groups this is a special one Every money I spend, every money I spend, that kind of sounds funny, anyways. Every money I spend comes back to me threefold. For example, I would give 350 for, you know, a cappuccino. And in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna get this threefold. You know, if I do it in the morning, then it's like kind of subconscious. Anyway, so every dollar that I spend comes back to me threefold. So, you know, I spend $10 for a book and then I'll like earn $30. And it doesn't have to make sense as long as you believe in it and you're like, yes, I'm gonna get this gonna happen it's gonna happen my life is harmoniously balanced for a Libra I really really need this because 
as I've mentioned previously, I struggle with balance. So reminding myself that I am balancing absolutely every single aspect of my life, the gym, my friends, relationships, you know, dating, uh, career, you know, every single thing under the sun that you can think of that you should balance. I want to harmoniously balance. Everything is happening, best case scenario for me. Now, I got this from Roxy Talks. She is another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite manifesting YouTube channels. I love that because, again, it is an umbrella term. Sometimes, you know, I feel defeated and I just don't want to think about it. To be quite frank, it's like, who has time sometimes? So I'm just like, everything is happening for me, best case scenario. Okay, so this next one is, I have deep connections with high vibrational people. And you guys definitely feel like when I did say this, I, you know, started getting quality people come into my life and I had, you know, deeper connections with them and they were like soul tribe type of people. By the way, when you're saying these, make sure to actually feel it and get excited. Like, if you're not smiling from ear to ear, it's like, it's not going to be as powerful. So that's what I suggest. I am in control of my own life. I make my own decisions. Now, you know, you can pick and choose different things that you may want to be working towards. Like, for example, for me, I'm always the type of person that's like, oh, go with the flow sometimes, some, sometimes. I'm like, go with the flow, everything happens for a reason. But then I have to remind myself like, no, you need to put in the action, you need to put in the work. I am deserving, money comes to me easily. I am living life every day with intention and purpose. That's something that I definitely have to remind myself because you go on autopilot and you're like, oh, I'm just living life and I'm not doing the things that I want to do or I'm not taking every action with specific purpose towards it. Like back in my uni days, I would binge TV shows and it would be kind of like a distraction method if something was going wrong in my life and I wouldn't intentionally choose to watch the TV shows, I'd just be watching them, right? If you have that intention, you set an intention like, right, I'm gonna watch this one movie tonight because I've had a bad day at work. So you always need to have some sort of an intention behind something. Oh, I love this one every day I am one step closer towards my goals my hair is always clean and shiny like literally think of anything that you want and just say it like use it as an affirmation and just repeat it right another thing that I do is and I promise that she's not paying me to say this but I check Leo Alexander's Instagram stories every single day because she has this really cute poll where she says about 10 to 15 affirmations and you know it's in the form of a poll and it's like yes or no and obviously you say yes and I just love going outside on my balcony looking out at like the beautiful scenery having my coffee and just reading her stories it's all about finding a great positive community as well to you know heighten those kind of energies anyways as you can tell I'm very passionate about my affirmations I hope that you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye guys